And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba, aka Steven Doughty, back with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I'm giving you guys some more information about me since I haven't been playing well, haven't been broadcasting well, and haven't been uploading well these past couple weeks. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit more information about me as a little mini reward for sticking with me through all that. Uh, this is me, I am character code 424 if you guys want to add me as a friend. Um, Here's my 1v1 team. I'm ranked number 7, 101 wins, 82 losses, and 1,543 points. I do have a 2v2 team with my cousin. Uh, we are in silver division right now. We haven't had much time to play, though, recently. Still haven't beaten the campaign. I haven't really tried, once again. Been sticking to the online stuff. Uh, haven't done any free-for-alls. I did um, a few custom games. Usually those are against uh, the the AI opponents, usually not against another player. And then here are my achievements. Counterproof, Unbreakable, Meat Grinder, Flying Heal Bus, and Terran Metro Macro Master. Uh, that is That was actually really easy to get, so much more so that I don't like the term Master. Because I actually got that like in my second game that I played in the placement matches. It was just, no, that was not enough to be a master. All right, that is enough about me. Let's get into my opponent. My opponent in this upcoming match is DHK. DHK is a random player. It even likes a little icon for a random player. DHK has 114 wins, 102 losses, putting him in 8th place in his gold division with 1,526 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the East up against DHK. The random player spawned as a Red Terran player in the North. The map is Scrap Station, and now you can see what I've been talking about. I've been hinting at it for about a week now. I've had this computer but I haven't been able to play or record on it for quite some time while I got it set up. I had to download StarCraft, which took two days, actually. It was ridiculous. But it is fully functional now, and I do have everything set up on it, so I am stoked to bring you what I assume are some of the best graphics on YouTube. I can't actually make the graphics any better. So I'm so excited about that. I'm not actually sure if the monitor can handle 1080p, but that's another story. I might have to upgrade that later. I, I am thinking about upgrading my microphone at some later date, but right now this is going to be my setup. Oh, it's so much fun, though. Um, you know, playing with the mouse. I mean, look at that. Look at that mouse move. Oh, it's awesome. I just found out, too, today. I actually did it in a game because um, I was trying to figure out what are the buttons that I've seen Husky do it a couple times um, and here let me just show you it's easier to show than it is to tell oh look at that oh that's awesome and look at that I even get a glare from the Sun on this planet you know the star off the ground when I go from that angle that's awesome I'm so excited about this and my opponent is going for a little bit strange strategy here, I would think. Uh, the barracks went up a lot sooner than mine did, about five seconds. That's not a lot, but the refinery is is late. It's mine, you know, mine's done. It was done about ten seconds before his. I don't know. Definitely a more marine-heavy build we should be seeing out of this player. We are both going for orbital commands because we don't actually... I mean, if you get a planetary fortress here at your main base, it's pretty much useless unless the guy's already, like, standing right there. But then again, you've got bigger problems if that's happening to you. Never, never get a planetary fortress in there. But now I'm just saying the basic, most basic things I can think of. Uh, this marine could not kill my SUV, so my SUV will skirt away with nine life. And this automaton 2000 saw the whole thing. Look at you. How do I zoom in? There we go. Look at you. Look at you go. Dude, that's awesome. 
Meanwhile, I am going for three racks. Nothing out of the unusual for me. Nothing out of the unusual. I said it again. But my opponent here is going for the factory. So, fast factory build so far. We'll see if it turns into a fast starport build. Meanwhile, I am getting the supply depots around my base. Just the two of them right now, though. Continuing to pump out SCVs. Both of us are because we both kind of know what we're doing. I am getting. I'm not doing that. That that would be DHK over here. Um, not producing anything out of the barracks anymore. Now just starting it. Marines still nothing coming out of the tech lab though. So I'm not sure why a tech lab was used there right now. We just you you didn't have to add the add-on if you're just going to be making marines and not getting anything out of there but oh my gosh look at all those minerals and gas what is going on so it is going to be a destiny cloudfish build fast starport build 111 build whatever you want to call it Mer uh barracks factory starport immediately that is why the second gas was gotten hellions coming out now so once again putting the tech lab on and then getting the unit that you don't need the tech lab to get I just don't understand it. I am going for Marines and Marauders as usual. Stim pack and concussive shells are underway. What else is going on? Ooh, Hellion. I'm still amazed at these graphics. I'm actually having trouble with it. Um, oh, there we go. So the starport's going to be going down onto the tech lab and I scan just in time to see that so I automatically know what's going on this guy is going for banshees so I want to get in his base before they spawn second starport on the way so definitely banshees gonna go for two port banshees here he does have an engineering bay out back and cloak is being researched am I gonna be able to get there in time it looks like I have a hundred seconds to destroy that tech lab I am getting in engineering bay up as soon as I can because I know I'm going to be needing missile turrets all along here all 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 up in here Marines and Marauders are... Come on, go, 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 go. Y you've got 70 seconds. So I'm moving in. He does He does have a few uh, Marines and Hellions, but I'm going to be able to ha handle them because they have absolutely no upgrades. But now the first Banshee is out, and I am down to just five or Marines. So I'm trying to finish it off. Am I going to be able to do it? Yes, I do take out the tech lab, but the the Banshee is going to survive. I'm trying to take I'm trying to focus down the other tech lab. I don't want any more banshees to come out, but I could not do it. That Hellion ended up killing me. This Banshee though did get seven kills and that SCV will repair the tech lab. I don't know if the if DHK caught that cloak did not finish and he's going to have to re research that. I do have three missile turrets up now in the back of my mineral line, but I need to get them over here because that is where I see Banshees coming into my base most often. I do have, oh, I have these guys going in by themselves, but I don't have the rally point set there because I am scared of the Banshees coming in to my base but I want to be able to pressure, 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 pressure this guy trying to get as much damage done before the Banshees start coming out en masse. The big word mean a lot of them. So I'm going in and come on, go in. Go in. Why aren't you guys going? There we go. I'm trying to focus down the tech lab. I am going to be able to stop. It looks like it was the pre nair being researched. Banshees are back. I only have five Marines, and it looks like because it, I still don't have the combat shield upgrade, he will be able to finish those with just two shots, it looks like, after I skim. He's doing a, uh, an okay job migrating that Banshee away. He does have ten kills now. And... Oh, so close. Just one shot away from death. And I'm once again trying to focus down the tech lab. Now combat shield is finished, it looks like. 
And Cloak is finished though. Oh. Too bad, so sad. And he does have a couple Marines out to finish the job in case. But, uh, look at that. I, I even scanned, not knowing that my last uh, Marine had died. Because once again, I'm not used to the graphics. And when that SCV, or when that Marine, like, fell to the ground, I'm like, no, he's still good. He's still good. No, he's not. He's dead. Uh, I'll get used to it, though. I'll get used to it. I am going for the 4th and 5th barracks, going for a factory. It looks like my minerals were a little bit high there. Oh, ho, ho, so close. Once again, how much damage do you do? You do 12, so it looks like it would need, still need uh, 3 shots. Once again, I need the missile turrets here, and now Banshee is inside my base doing damage. So I'm not exactly sure what to do here. I had to reset the rally point. Now I set the new rally point here. And, oh, double kill. See, look, I thought that, you know, when he just lies there, I was like, oh, no, he's good. See, look, he's still there. But, oh, no, my graphics are better now. Holy crap, what do I do here? So I did set the reality point where he can see it. And she is here. So I do have to scan. I am able to take that out. Moving up inside his base. Once again, these guys have no upgrades. He didn't even use... Tech lab and he hasn't built any new ones, he's just getting marines, so I'm starting to do damage inside his base. And it doesn't look like he's getting any more banshees. Oh my god, 901,000. Oh, if he had spent that, I would, I'd, I'd be pretty much screwed here. You know, I still have 600, and I'm, and I'm pissed off about that. There's no excuse for me to have that, especially now that I have a second command center. Why isn't there more production? Why? Yes, three, four. Need more Marauders too, but I'm actually out of, uh, I'm out of gas because I never got the second refinery. Um, I need more refineries down here. I do have it down to about 400, but that is not good enough. Meanwhile, in his base, he's just pretty much. Um, Letting, I'm just letting them produce whatever he can, and then I'm destroying it. These medevacs will eventually go down, I assume, once I can get something in there to kill them. And it looks like he is... You get at least a couple more marines. How many kills do you guys have? Six, two, zero, zero, one, zero. So this guy's the hero, I guess. I, I, I do have, you know, the rally point still set there. As you can see, oh, it's a lot smoother if I do it with the keyboard. Yeah. So I have a couple Marines inside my base just in case more Banshees came in. And, oh, look at this graphics. Oh, let's look at that. Oh, sweet. I got flying Gibbs on fire now. Oh, that's awesome. So, yes, I did finally catch up on uh, my macro towards the end of the game here. Uh, still, I was producing things here, but I still needed to transfer so I could, you know, actually get more minerals and gas to spend. Uh, but it did fall apart in the middle there. Um, that tends to be what has happened to me recently, is that I'll fall apart in the middle and then catch up at the end. What's up, SCV? Did you see him? Did you see him look at me? You know, shake his head at me? That was awesome. Uh, so... He got a missile turret up in the back of his base. That is unnecessary. I don't have a starport. Do I have a starport? I do have a starport, but nothing ever came out of it. I am going to find... Uh, I would get a reactor on that. Um, so I'm supply locked, actually. Uh, so that was the game. Interesting game. Uh, different builds. He ended up going for a Banshee Harass. And as soon as I saw that he was going for it, I went into his base. That scan did save me. And then missile turrets, I did end up getting a few missile turrets around back. Uh, there's no SCV building that thing. So, never did finish that. One of you should have gone and fixed that. Yeah, what's up? Uh, Medivac. What is up, Medivac? And now I want to see a Banshee. Banshees were hot, weren't they? Anyways, that is the game. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. And I hope to see you next time. With these same graphics. Thanks for watching.